Deserts are dry regions that normally receive less than 10 inches of precipitation a year or have evaporation rates twice as great as their annual precipitation totals. They cover one fifth of the Earth's surface and are divided into several groups based on their characteristics. All deserts are either hot or cold. First, let's start with the more common hot desert. Most hot deserts are located near the equator in areas called subtropical zones. All four seasons are generally mild, but summer is by far the hottest. Triple digit temperatures are frequent during the day, but at night temperatures can fall much lower. Deserts have these daily extremes because the atmosphere contains little humidity and generally clear skies. The largest hot desert on the planet is in the Sahara in North Africa. Its landscape is more than 3.5 million square miles wide and is filled with mountains, salt flats and sand dunes. Normal weather conditions throughout the desert consists of extremely warm temperatures and sun filled days. In fact, on September 13, 1922, the world's hottest official temperature was recorded in Aziza, Libya at a blistering 136 degrees. It's because of this harsh climate that despite its large size, the Sahara has fewer than 2 million people and a couple of animals too. While hot deserts are usually very dry and hot, cold deserts exhibit much different conditions. They're located closer towards the poles and are known for their very chilly winters and potential for snowfall. The world's largest and coldest desert surrounds the South Pole. That's right, Antarctica is considered a cold weather polar desert. Up to 98% of Antarctica's landscape is covered in ice. The rest is barren rock. Now, during the winter, temperatures can dip to a frosty negative 130 degrees and the summer months aren't much better, with temperatures averaging about 30 degrees warmer. Most areas receive less than an eighth of an inch of precipitation a year, all of which falls, yes, you got it, in the form of snow. <laughs> There are no permanent residents on the continent, but each year dozens of scientists from around the world head to the South Pole to study the climate and geology. Researchers also observe Antarctica's marine life, which includes seals, penguins, and whales. Not all deserts are as barren or extreme as Antarctica. In fact, most deserts actually have a considerable amount of vegetation and animal life. The Sonoran Desert, for example, lies right here in the southwestern United States and is home to thousands of animals and plants. Its environment is not as unpleasant as other deserts around the world, making it much more appealing to live in. From September to May, temperatures average about 86 degrees. Not bad, while during the summer months, they can hover above 100 degrees. The key to the Sonoran's pleasing climate is rainfall. While still considered a hot, dry desert, parts of the Sonoran can receive as much as 16 inches of rain a year, allowing the land to become damp and the air to remain cool. But the Sonoran is still susceptible to violent weather, including blinding dust storms and raging wildfires. One of Arizona's worst fires took place right in the middle of the desert. The Cave Creek Complex fire ignited on June 21, 2005 by a bolt of lightning and burned portions of central Arizona for more than a week. Raging out of control, the blaze consumed a quarter of a million acres and destroyed 11 homes, making it the largest fire ever recorded in the Sonoran Desert. Deserts have many defining characteristics from their locations on the planet to the types of precipitation they receive. But as we've just learned, they all have one thing in common. They're all dry.